Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to create an automated email um, when someone gets a tag in your audience. So maybe they're going through a landing page and they get tagged when they go through that landing page or that specific sign-up form, or if they do something specific. But when a tag is added to an audience member, they will receive an email, and I'll show you how to do that. I am using MailChimp's Classic Builder for this today. Their Classic Builder is best if you only want to be sending out one email. If you're interested in doing a series of emails, you would use MailChimp's Journeys function. The Classic Automation Tool is available in MailChimp's free package, um, whereas you need to pay to use the Journeys function. At least that's how it is when I'm making this video at the beginning of January 2022. Packages are always changing, but um, let me show you how. So as it stands right now, as I'm making this video right now, there's two ways to get to classic automations. The first one is to go into your automations tab. And up here on the right hand side, it's classic automations. The second one is if you go to campaigns, scroll down to automations, and it will ask you if you want to create one. So I'm setting up an automation that when anyone signs up for my email list through a landing page, that I will send them a free PDF of all of the links that I recommend for email marketing. Um, that landing page is live, you can sign up for it now, but I, I don't want my email to go to anyone who signs up for my email list, only people who go through that landing page. So I'm going to do when email subscribers are tagged. I'm going to pick my audience, and let's go through our settings. First, edit settings here. I'm going to name this um, email marketing links PDF. There's my email address. And in the to column, it's great to include people's first name and last name or just their first name. I'm kind of casual. We're going to set up what tag we want it to be tagged. So when people go through that landing page, I set it up that they'll be tagged with email marketing links download. Fair enough. And if I want a delay, I do not. I want this email to go out immediately. If at some point you wanted to change this tag, that's where you would do it, this trigger. That's the difference between a campaign and an automation is a campaign you choose when it goes out and an automation means that something has happened that triggers the email to go. So in this case, when someone gets this tag, this internal label added to their contact information, this email will send. I'm going to schedule this to go out every day, all day. This filter here allows me to be even more selective about who gets it. And then the post action means that I could add a tag to them after they receive this as a note that they received it or something like that. I'm just gonna design the email. All right, I'm going to name my email. So this is email links PDF email. I'm going to put in my subject line and hit next. If you are creating an email from scratch, I would recommend using this basic email template right here. Also, I have a video on how to create email templates, so I will link that as well. I have already created a template, so I'm gonna to go to save templates and pick one here. So I've already gone through the process of designing my email. I have some custom graphics here, welcoming folks to my list, telling them what to expect, and of course, offering that free download. Let me show you how to link a file. I'm gonna go over to this button here. It's always important to have a button. And I'm going to go to File. I'm in my Content Studio. I would just upload that file into my Content Studio, click it, and insert, and it will attach it so it is downloadable when they click that button. Once everything's all set, we're going to start this automation. So save and continue. Next. And we're going to start sending. Right now, this automated email is active. If you wanted to make changes to it, you would edit it here. You would have to pause the email in order to make those changes. And then once they're all set, you would restart. Well, I hope that that answered all of your questions. Um, nothing is better than automations and a welcome series or a welcome email is a great place to start. If you want to learn more about automations, check out one of my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list. Oh, and the channel, of course. And I'll see you around.